Hello, U.S. History. Uh, first of all, I am still doing very well. I am still stuck in preemptive quarantine, but I'm fine. Um, I have another meeting with my doctors today, Monday, um, to figure out if I'm allowed to come back to work this week. So I might see you tomorrow. I might see you a week from now. We shall see. But for today, hey, we get to stop being so depressing now. So we went through eh, 1920s, oh, start of 1930s, start of Great Depression. That was not excellent. And now we get to talk about FDR and the New Deal. I have said FDR a lot. And that doesn't mean you know what an FDR is exactly. FDR is Franklin Delano Roosevelt. He was the president elected in 1932, became president partway through 1933. Fast facts about this guy. Something that folks don't know that I think is really, really important is that he had polio as a child. He was actually stuck in a wheelchair. We have almost no pictures of him in his wheelchair or in his uh, arm braces because at the time it was considered a sign of weakness and they didn't want the president, especially during World War II, to appear weak. And they weren't in the kind of culture we're in now, where you're going to be recorded 24-7. So a whole lot of his uh, official photo shoots were actually of him sitting down somewhere. But in any case, we have had a president who is wheelchair-bound, and I think that's awesome. Um, he was the fifth cousin of Teddy Roosevelt, which is basically not being related to Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, according to 23andMe.com, they would have shared 0.05% of their DNA. So, the two Roosevelts, yes, related, but only by their great-great-great-great-grandparents. He was the governor of New York City before his presidential run, and he got lots and lots more votes than Hoover, because things kind of sucked under Hoover, so we're going to try out this new guy, FDR. His election platform, as we can see here, a new deal for the American people. Um, right from our home of Seattle here, we have Roosevelt promises national relief, quick action. Uh, now a man of courage is at the helm, so we had this whole uh, idea of everything's going to change, everything's going to be better, happy days are back again. Last notes about FDR, um, he was a very hands-on president in a way that we hadn't seen yet. He wanted to talk to people one-on-one, -on -one, like straight with the citizens. Um, he went to accept his nomination in person, which was a new thing. He directly addressed the American people, which is something we don't even think about now. The president talks to us every day, but it was kind of a new thing for him to talk to the American people as equals and explain his reasoning to them. Uh, but he was known for his self-confidence and inspiring confidence in others, and that's part of why he spent so much time talking to the American people. Uh, part of this I want to communicate, I want to be hands-on thing was he actually started receiving mail and replying to that mail. Under Her Herbert Hoover, the White House mailroom had one staff person. One staff person. And under FDR, that increased to 70 staff people just to man the mailroom because they had so many letters going back and forth. I was really, really fast talking about FDR because... Um, you have a rather long assignment to do today. Oh, hello, Stan. That's my cat. Uh, so I wanted to give you as much time as possible. He's gonna break the curtain. Oh, yep. Sorry. Um, right, you have an assignment. So in just a second, I'm gonna show you how to do this. You're going to go to power school. Our job today is actually to listen to the second, the second ever fireside chat that he did. So instead of me explaining the New Deal to you, we're actually going to let FDR explain it to you. 
um, we're going to listen to that chat. It's 20 minutes long, but I've broken it up a little bit. Um, so we're going to listen to that chat, download the note sheet to fill out, and turn in that as your assignment for the day. So before I let you go, let's show you what that looks like. Mm. Yep, that's U.S. History. All right, so here's the front page of U.S. History right now. Fireside Chat, 7 May 1933. You'll click here to play it. You'll probably have to enable Flash. You might have to change your internet browser. Um, but you'll click here to play. The note sheet you need to do and turn in, you click right here for. You'll click here, and it will open something that looks like this, this. This, got it. It'll open a page that looks like this. I have the minutes that each question is attached to, so when you get to the five minute to six minute mark, this is what you'll be answering. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. If you can't hear it, if your internet is being non-cooperative, I also have the transcript. It is 1930s recording technology, so it gets fuzzy sometimes. Uh, but you can download the transcript to read along to what he's saying. Um, the note sheet will tell you where in the speech each question is. Read the thing, listen to the thing, fill out questions, turn it in, and good to go. Um, the rest of this week, we'll see if I am here or not. Um, hopefully I'm here and we will continue talking about New Deal FDR. Alright, hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for all the kind messages. Um, I will see you very soon.